Hi everyone. Today here we are looking at the FPT NEF 570 Evo Marine Engine. This one here is one of the latest offerings from the Fiat uh, Italian manufacturer. The NEF 570 Evo is 570 horsepower out of a 6.7 litre engine. This is an incredible power to weight ratio engine in such a small and compact package. Uh, this particular engine here has been sold into a commercial vessel uh, fishing for octopus off of Fremantle, out of Fremantle, Western Australia. So this one here, instead of doing at the 570 horsepower variant, we're going to derate this down to 480 horsepower. It still will, however, remain at the 3000 RPM maximum RPM. Let me show you around a few features on this particular engine. The NEF series of marine engine has been out for almost 20 years now. The NEF 570 EVO though is the latest from Fiat in regards to multiple things. Firstly, this is one of the highest horsepower settings in this range, mid-range of uh, displacement engines. Being a 6.7 litre engine, inline six cylinder, with common rail electronics. Now, this is the latest generation of Bosch electronics uh, on these particular engines. So there is a lot more monitoring over these engines, which is fantastic for engine longevity as well as the fact that instead of the standard 600 to 650 kilo dry weight of these engines, the NEF 570 EVO has been strengthened in the block and is now up to 720 kilogram in dry weight. So a little bit heavier, but for 570 horsepower is still a very compact uh, and lightweight package. I'll show you around a few components on this particular engine here. So if I talk about the electrical system first, there's a lot more sensors available. So we're monitoring things like, for example, seawater inlet pressure, uh, fuel temperature and pressure. We're monitoring boost pressure. We've got grid heater for cold starts, coolant level pressure and temperature. Uh, sorry, just temperature on that one there. We've got engine diagnostics on the front here. We now have the ECU mounted on the engine as well, which just makes life a lot easier. Uh, when we come around this side here, I'll show you all that is really required in these harnesses here. It may look like a bit of a coil, but it's not too bad. It's just a coil there that heads up uh, to sit in the engine room. This is the only control box external to the engine now, which does allow you to start and stop the engine from within the engine room. Uh, from there, this particular engine here has what's called the deluxe touchscreen control panel. I'll give that a second to boot up over there. As I come back to the engine, we have a few coolers here on this side. So here we have an engine oil cooler tucked in behind there. We have the heat exchanger of this particular engine. Wet exhaust riser comes standard when supplied through THT, unless not required. As we come around this side, we have a nice and easy accessible uh, intercooler, which is a water to air intercooler. And there is your rubber impeller style seawater pump situated on the side. Bring to your attention how shallow the sump is on this particular uh, model of NEF series engine. Your bell housing is a standard SAE3 and your sump barely protrudes lower than what the bell housing is. For the application for this vessel, the engine needs to sit down very low. So an MG 5075A marine gearbox from Twin Disc has been chosen because they are near on coaxial from crankshaft input through to the output flange on the gearbox. This is a down angle in a two to one ratio gearbox. Included on the back here is the gearbox oil cooler which has been plumbed up. The NEF 570 EVO is a single turbocharged uh, unit with a whole set turbocharger. And you can see we have the pipe work across the rear here and straight down into the intercooler before proceeding straight up and into the intake manifold on the engine. Common rail is tucked in here. Engine breather system at the rear here. Uh, and as I was saying, we have a few more sensors in regards to monitoring uh, EGT amongst a few other things. Back over to the panel. This is what's included in the deluxe control panel. Gives us a great amount of information as well as alarm functionality. No alarms at present. As well as monitoring of any particular issues uh, seen on the engine. So very good panel for being able to have a great understanding as a skipper uh, or an operator as to how the engine is currently functioning. We'll give this engine a run up. All right. 
I'd like to run this up for you and let you see exactly how smooth they are. We're hard mounted sitting on this wooden crate uh, just in the workshop here. So it's a very raw idea of just how smooth these particular engines are. Key provided is nice and simple to be mounted into a panel. It's a turn of the key and away we go.